When I say the word oligarchs, lots of people immediately assume that I'm talking about Russians. But actually, there are oligarchs everywhere. And in countries like ours, those oligarchs exert inordinate power over our political systems. So look at the UK, where people like Rupert Murdoch and the Barclay brothers, through controlling the media, are able to impose their views on other people to the extent that they swing elections. How are they able to do so? Is this because they have more votes than other people? Is this because they have more democratic legitimacy? No, it's simply because they have more money. They use their economic power and translate it into political power which is what oligarchs do the world over. And it's reached the point that unless Rupert Murdoch is on your side, you are highly unlikely to win a general election and form the next government in this country. To an extraordinary, inordinate degree, he controls the political life of this nation. That is a classic oligarchic position. We also see oligarchy exercised through the funding of political parties. A tiny handful of people can provide almost all the funding for a political party. And this is indeed what happens. We have seen how property developers and landowners have poured £11 million into the Conservative Party since Boris Johnson became Prime Minister. And it looks as if that will yield them billions of pounds in profit because one of the things that Boris Johnson now proposes to do is to dismantle the planning system, to allow them to build in some parts of the country pretty well anything, anywhere. What we see happening here in the United States, in many other countries around the world, is that a nominally democratic country falls prey to oligarchy, to the inordinate power of those with a great deal of money. There are a number of ways in which oligarchs discipline politics, and one of them is the revolving door. A classic example is the former Chancellor of the Exchequer in the United Kingdom, Sajid Javid, who's gone straight into one of the biggest and most ruthless financial institutions in the City of London, which happens to have benefited massively from his policies while he was in power. And we see this happening again and again. Ministers effectively do favours to particular corporate sectors when they're in power, and then as soon as they lose their ministerial positions, they go into those corporate sectors where they are in effect rewarded for services rendered with massively lucrative contracts. They know that if they want to have an extremely rich retirement, they've got to transmit those favours to big corporations while they are in office. And so this is a subtle and insidious way in which oligarchy gets its claws into democracy and turns politics in the direction it wishes. This isn't even a party matter. We see people from across the political spectrum going straight into lucrative directorships when they leave politics. We saw it with Tony Blair, big time, tens of millions of pounds he's made from his corporate engagements subsequent to being Prime Minister. We've seen it with Peter Mandelson, his enforcer, who has similarly massively enriched himself. We see a whole series in government after government of ministers moving into the sectors that they previously regulated, having, while in office, given those sectors everything they wanted on a silver platter. It is profoundly undemocratic, but it is how politics has come to work in this country. What we must do if we are to reclaim politics is to reclaim it from the oligarchy. We have to understand that oligarchs are not just Russians. Oligarchs are in countries all over the world bleeding those countries of cash and bleeding them of political legitimacy as they replace democracy with oligarchy. We must overthrow the oligarchs and restore democracy. One of the reasons I work with Double Down News is it's one of the very few broadcast outlets for big ideas. I can't get this stuff on the BBC or indeed any other mainstream broadcaster. If you want to talk about the big normative questions, Double Down News is the place to do it. So please support Double Down News through Patreon and allow these big issues to be aired.